So guys, welcome to our FIFA Mobile Season 2 video on the channel. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, I recommend subscribing. If you do enjoy the video, smash the like button. Hit the notification button twice, that way you'll never miss one of my uploads. And obviously, check out my other content. I have just done a bundle opening on these icons, but today's video is also dedicated to claiming all three icons. So... My voice isn't back completely. There might be a third video out later today. I really am not sure. But as you can see in the background, there is JJ Okocha, Filippo Inzaghi, and uh, Rio Fernandez. We're going to claim all three of them. Hopefully, this is going to help you guys claim them yourselves. Um, I've got a fair few players you can use. And as you've just seen there, a listing result has resulted in me actually getting one sold. This is a team I'm rocking with for JJ Okocha, who is going to be the hardest one to do, really. And uh, it has got Fatai or Fatal, Kiyodi, Anazi, Adu, and Obu Bonner. Keep in mind, guys, I had a 99 rated team. This is without any sort of upgrades to the team. I haven't done any upgrades. It's all based on skill boost. As you can see, I've got a lot of reserves stacked up for the other icons, but this is a pretty simple one. If I go over in a second to the market, I can show you guys what the situation is with the Nigerian players because a lot of them are extinct on the market. But as you can see here, a 99 rated team, if you chuck in any really, if you chuck it really any gold players in from the Nigerian um, nationality and you've got decent rated skill boost it will go straight to a 90 anyway and even if you can't do that it's as simple as just upgrading your players a little bit just spend a little bit of coinage to boost some of the lower rated gold up to higher rated gold so as you can see at the market is uh, currently selling a lot of these Nigerian players at around 35 to 37k I tried testing the waters with a few other ones but uh, the common ones you're going to see is Obi from the Calcio A for Tur uh, Torino I think it is uh, Uche, who was a player that you, if you played FIFA on the console a few years back, was in the Liga Centre and they're changed now. But uh, I just want to test the waters with some player prices to see how they're going because some of the players are extinct and not even on the market. But that is the uh, that is pretty much the situation when it comes to claiming JJ Okocha. It's a bit of a struggle because a lot of players aren't, uh, they're not high rated. A 90 rated team to get JJ Okocha is pretty crazy and uh, I'm sure if he's got a campaign which for some reason... Um, they actually haven't got the campaign with him, okay? But he has the counter boost, um, skill boost, which I can upgrade. 93 pace, 97 agility, 87 shooting, 83 passing are the key ones there. 61 physical and 51 defending. Not too bad at all for an 86 right midfielder. And uh, he would be a 91 rated player in my team. 95 sprint speed, 100 ball control. And uh, I think that was 100 dribbling as well. That's blooming crazy for a player like him. And it, oh, okay, there is a campaign for JJ Okocha, um, and there's the whole city as well. But uh, I wonder what the situation is with it. So that's not bad. That's not bad. Okay, 92 rated team, 94 rated team, 95 rated team with Nigerian nationality. So if you want to do JJ Okocha for some reason, you're going to have to spend a lot of money boosting up your Nigerian players. And I just don't think that's worth doing. So as you see, that is the team I've got now. That's my 99 rated team that I was talking about. And uh, I think as we move on, it's going to be quite easy to claim that Rio Ferdinand or the Filippo and So we're going to start with Clark Salter. Who's, uh, if you've selected the English campaign, probably selected Chelsea, would have been one of the easiest ones. Gary Cale, 81 rated elite that converts up to 89. Shouldn't be too much, right? Maybe around 500, 600k. And as you can see, we've got a Jack Butland peak in there. Um, there's not many other English players. I think we had the left wing back Ashley Young that you could use. So as we're going to see, we're going to chuck in Jack Butland. Goes up to 87 rated there. And I don't think we're going to knock off many of the ratings. We already had Deli Ali from League versus League. And we already had Mark Owen from the previous claimings of the Icons. So that's all five. And that means Rio Fernand is coming to the club. And I can't wait for this. He's going to be one of the best centre-backs on this game. I'm telling you right now. As you can see there, it hasn't shown the campaign or unlock or anything like that. But let's have a look. He's got the tackling boost as his skill boost. And I've got 8, level 8 for that. And he's 89 rated. So that means he'd be a 97 rated player in my team. 86 pace already, 76 passing, 71 agility, 96 defending and 93 physical. He blows... Puyol out of the water. If any of you guys have claimed Puyol, he's blown him out of the water. I have a struggle with Puyol because I feel he's way too slow for a centre-back. Players can roast him way, way too easily. So, Rio Ferdinand coming to my club would fill me with great pleasure because it needs to be done, man. You need to have someone. like I love Puyol. He's a very good defender. Don't get me wrong, but 
you need that pace at the centre back role. As you see, 72 pace on Puyol. He has got quality defending and quality physical, but I think Rio Fernand is going to be in my prime position from now on. And it's going to be bye bye Puyol. Probably Benucci is going to sit in there. But as you can see, that's the situation with Rocky for the Italian team. I should stop like going on about it. We've got Benucci team heroes, Rigani. We've also got Mirante, the goalkeeper. And uh, you can see there we've also got the options of Bonaventura. But you can also use players like Montalivo, who's a C I think he's a centre. He's a CDM, the 73 rated, if I'm not wrong. There he is. Montalivo, CDM, 73 rated. So if we can jump back in, as you can see, we've got a Serbia as well, who's a campaign player from the uh, Serie A campaign. And we can use that Montalivo. So I can get rid of Bonaventura. I'll probably sell him for a decent amount of money. And uh, that would be that. So this is the situation we're at. Filippo Inzaghi, we can claim. He's not someone that I can see myself using unless it's for a special video. He's got the boost of finishing. You can already see that. And he's got six level six finishing boost in my team. 84 pace, 95 shooting. That's pretty damn good. I'm not going to lie. 72 passing, 90 agility, 69 physical and 36 defending. So, he'd be a 93 rated player in my team. I can upgrade the skill boost. 95 shooting for an 87 rated player. I think that's pretty damn good. I'm not going to lie to you. 84 pace, 90 agility. For a lot of people who don't have enough money to spend on the big name players, he could be very, very useful. And because he's Italian, you have that situation where you can actually um, do the campaign quite easily. But nevertheless, guys, that's it. All three of them are claimed. If you guys have enjoyed the video, smash the like button. Comment your thoughts down below. And I'll catch you guys always in the next video. Have a great day. Goodbye.